there are a lot of things in this song that have to do with the PAUSE program here at Matthew Thornton. I like, especially like the line about there's a spark in you, you've got to ignite the light and let it shine. Just own the night like the 4th of July. Your original cannot be replaced if only you knew what the future holds. And the first or fourth graders, you were phenomenal. And thank you to Mrs. Gilchrist for the help of that. You did a great job singing to our fifth grade. So you might ask, what is the purpose of the assembly today? And the purpose of this assembly is to celebrate the PAUSE program that we have in our school, to celebrate our fifth grade, to celebrate our retirees that are going to be moving on in their journeys, and all the accomplishments of everybody in the school for the past year. So welcome everyone. I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Frenette. Thank you and good morning. over their fifth grade school year. There are many um, quiet leaders amongst this group that showed kindness and respect to one another and to the rest of the school. And I want to remind all of you, in your journey to the middle school, to remember to treat others the way you want to be treated, to be kind and respectful. Because no, there is nothing too small that can make a difference in someone else's life such as a smile that can be contagious, that once you smile at someone, it just moves on and on and can be passed on to everyone else. So I want to thank and recognize the fifth graders for that. And I want to look to the first through fourth graders and ask you to, and remind you to also have respect as you continue on your journey here at Matthew Thornton. So thank you, everyone, and congratulations to the fifth graders. something a little fun. I want to recognize all the awesome things that have happened this year. So there's a little bit of a special instruction. Fifth graders, if the category fits you, you're going to stand up. First through fourth graders, if the category fits you, you're going to raise both hands in the air. Does everyone understand? Give me a thumbs up if you get what I'm saying. All right. Who has been recognized with a pause award this year. So these people have been examples. Positive attitude, acting responsibly, working and playing safely, and showing respect. Great job. Sit down. Who's been recognized with a Tiger Up Award? Nice job. Now, boys and girls, this is a quiet activity. We remember that Tiger Up Awards are for demonstrating perseverance and ownership and really working hard through those challenges. Who has gotten a pause sticker this year for something? But Mrs. Burnett was just every little thing matters. And now our next part of the program is in the fifth grade yearbook, both Mrs. Putney and I have written letters uh, to you fifth graders as you leave. Okay, so I will read my letter to you guys, the fifth grade class of Matthew Thornton, that will be in your yearbook when you get it. To the MT class of 2017. It is with a great sense of pride that I write this goodbye letter to you. Over the past two years, I have watched you grow in so many ways. You have a lot to be proud of. I encourage you to hold on to the important messages you have heard. Remember to tiger up when things get difficult at LMS. And they will. 
your attitude towards adversity will dictate your success. Remember to be K-E. There is no substitute for being kind. All of you will go through ups and downs, and sometimes a kind act is all a person needs. The only time you should be looking down on someone is if you're helping them up. As you move on to LMS, hold on to these lessons you learn. Ask for help if you need it. Study, participate in the many activities LMS has to offer. Make new friends, and remember that you can achieve when you put your mind and talents to it. Please remember that Matthew Ford will always be your school, and we look forward to watching you grow from afar. Have a great summer, and have fun in the next chapter of your academic course. Fondly, Mr. McCarthy. difficult here. You may have demonstrated pop, perseverance, ownership, and practice. You may have helped other students as a buddy or bus buddy. You may have read the Pledge of Allegiance or the cause tip of the day. You may have been a guest in the office for lunch. You may have served on the student council. You might have been a member of the Healthy Tigers Wellness Team. You might have helped to organize a fundraising event or a food drive, or volunteered your own time for events such as the Stockings for Soldiers or the Adoptive Family Project. You may have participated in track and field events or entered artwork into competitions or submitted artwork for the Reflections Program. You may have participated in the Wizard of Oz show this year. You were a member, perhaps, and performed with the band, chorus, or orchestra. You may have come in every day trying your best and working hard and helped your classmates by being a positively awesome, wonderful student. You have all contributed to making Matthew Thornton School an incredible place, and I am certain that you will make new friendships and enjoy all the new opportunities that await you at LMS next fall. I would also like to thank this fifth grade class for their <coughs> gift to the school, which is a water station, a water bottle filling station for the second floor. <laughs>
Some of the things you have shared with me about all of you include, you taught us to work hard. You picked us up when we were done. You taught us to believe in ourselves. You taught us to think big and follow our dreams. You taught us to be kind to others. You taught us to be creative. You listened to us, and you showed us that learning should be fun. We will never forget the parties, parades, field days, dances, holidays, indoor snowball fights, field trips, and all the other amazing experiences you have given us. Most importantly, you led by example. By watching you, we know what it means to be honest, kind, patient, hardworking, and caring. In what seems like the blink of an eye, the nervous little person that came through your doors in 2012 have grown into confident soon-to-be middle schoolers. We will never forget the amazing years that we spent here. Someday when we are teachers, engineers, lawyers, doctors, CEOs, technology specialists, chefs, architects, artists, and many more, we will look back and remember all of the amazing math and sort of staff members who started us off on our journey. On behalf of the 5th grade, I would like to thank you for all that you have done for us. We will never forget.